Good morning, Kick Family. Let's go. We have an exciting day of rebooting New World. Um, I haven't played this game since it came out, but a lot of folks have been telling me, man, they've done a lot of things since you played it last. You got to go out and try it. New World even told us yesterday on the Twitter that we got to try it, so you, you know we got we to gotta commit now. Um, I don't honestly remember why I quit playing this game. I just, I, probably because I just got rehooked back on World of Warcraft or I couldn't get enough of the people that I game with to come play it with me. I don't know. Um, but we're going to play it all day today. We're going to get into it. We're going to play it. We're going to go save the world of Eternum. And we're going to be victorious. I saw a quote that really stuck out with stuck out to me this morning. I think it's important that I bring it. I bring it to the family. I bring it to the community. The best weight you'll ever lose is the weight of other other people's opinions of you, and and that's the absolute truth. You really need to. Like, for us, we just got to focus on ourselves, um, be the best person we can be. You're not going to satisfy everyone, and really, you're not supposed to. You're supposed to do you. You're supposed to do, go out every day and do the best you can, be the best version of yourself, and that's all you have to do. Um, a lot of people can put a lot of weight on you, make you feel like you're not doing enough, that you got to do more, but as long as you know in your heart that you're trying your hardest, that's that's all that's all anyone could ask of you really and if anyone's being unrealistic about it then maybe that's a little bit of poison in your life that that you don't need so just know that you're amazing just know that you're trying your hardest and get out there and do good speaking of good we have a few new members to welcome to the growl at witchy poo at stylistic and at j shope welcome to the growl i hope you all are having an amazing day and as well as everybody in the community and everyone to kick streaming everyone over on twitter i hope you're having an amazing day a happy friday and i hope you guys go out there and kill it today and enjoy that weekend um, sadly for me, the vacation is nearing an end. Um, Monday we'll be going back to that business architect grind. We're gonna, we got a lot of work to do. Keep it busy, but rest assured, we're going to keep this up. We're going back to our normal. I can't talk today. We're going back to our normal streaming schedule next week. We'll be doing Monday through Thursday, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, along with that, uh, I don't have any camping weekends in July, so I should be home every weekend. So we're going to do some bonus streams. I don't know what they're going to be yet, but you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. We always do. Um, definitely playing some other games, doing a little bit of variety. Um, the World of Warcraft patch comes out this week on Tuesday, so we'll be focusing on that new content this week. Um, tomorrow stream, or sorry, not tomorrow, Monday stream, I'm not sure yet. Um, probably do a World of Warcraft week and then maybe do some Valorant or some New World on the weekend. Um, we'll see kind of how it goes. Or maybe we'll, f maybe we'll find or be recommended a different game and we'll try that out. We'll see, we'll see. But anyways, we have an adventure. We have a new world that we have to save, literally. So let's go and get into the game itself. Here, gamey, gamey, game. Oh, there we go. All right. So I already did the upfront deletion of the. What's this stuff? Uh, so transmog. Transmog tokens, we can change the appearance of your weapon and gear. Okay, cool. Event, first light has fallen. The angry earth have overrun old first light. Answering the sinister call of the ancient huntress, Adiana, 
They destroyed homes and taken our friends captive, now subjecting them to unknown horrors behind a wall of thorns, barring entry to any adventurer's quest. All regional quests from Old First Light have been cancelled. Storage, once all items are claimed, the Old First Light storage will be closed. Trading posts, any pending transactions are accessible from other territories. Housing, a compensation for the loss of housing has been made. All furniture from your home has been placed in the storage. So, so they threw all your shit in the storage unit. Uh, governing company, a one-time deposit has been paid into your treasury for the loss of any territory. Trial, Arena of Shah Nassen. The rekindled fires of Vinid call for primal terror from the deep beneath the sands. Now the great devourer stalks the dunes of brimstone once again. Gather your bravest warriors at the ambuscade. Can you defeat the spawns of titans? Requires 20-person raid group. And get armor and weapon skins. Hmm. Trial, the hatchery. Dark forces have unearthed a hatchery, a long forgotten chamber buried deep within the sands or beneath the sands of Neapolis. There they conquer to rip a turnum sun asunder with a horde of sandworms. Rally up to nine other adventurers to crush wave after wave of enemies in this high stakes high reward trial. Some armor skins and some weapon skins. And then seasons, blood of the sands. A new epic adventure awaits you in the Silver Crows in the sweltering heat of Brimstone Sands. Malik, a man claiming to be with the Ancient Order, Blood of the Sands, is willing to pay you handsomely. Ooh, paying handsomely is good. Can't go wrong there, right? Uh, for primordial artifacts, sandworm eggs. What's, a, what's the fascination with the worms? Got worms. Hey, Dal, how are you doing today? Level 60 players, not me can start their adventure by visiting any crow's nest location found in Ingrove, Shatter Mountains, and Brimstone Sands. Alright, so we're going to continue. I already took the liberty of deleting and made a bearded character. Um, New World, we need a little bit bigger beard that's not quite enough, so, you know. First bit of feedback, give me, give me this big, bushy beard. Give me this beard. Actually, it is pretty close. It's got to go about movie level. We can get movie level beard, then we'll be good. I'll be happy. All right, so let's see what happens when we push the play button. And don't worry, we got enough to be hydrated today. We got enough. I hope, anyways. We got water and some unsweetened iced tea. Wilford Brimley's gonna be proud of me. One more bad day. Why is it bad? I'm doing good. Woke up this morning, I'm alive, still breathing. We're playing New World. We get to play video games all day today. No real life career worky worky. Just having fun. Hmm. Okay, so we move. I like the I love the graphics in this to be honest. Even even when I cracked it open for the first time back when it launched. Oh this guy's like not doing so hot. Oh here we go. Draw your weapon. Block. Yeah. That's what you get. Left shift. We dodged. Oh yeah, look at that. You, come you come closer. The captain needs you. There's a trusty thing to chat with. It's my way. Earth to my soul. A voice in my head. These foul creatures. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Are we the only survivors? Alright, 
So we gotta get the box. Retrieve. Oh, oh, he died. And we got a shield. Alright, so tab to inventory. We gotta drag the shield on over. Oh, what's it? Oh, food. We gotta put food there. Alright. Consuming food and drinks restores the health. Gotcha. Why am I stuck though? Oh man, that sucks. Oh, wait. It's because we gotta eat first. Alright. Search the ship's graveyard. We can jump, space, okay. Good stuff. So hold is heavy attack, block, dodge. Got it. You know what though? If I go into the controls and we go to key bindings and we go to dodge. I think kind of like set this up like I have it set up in World of Warcraft. Um, where's dodge, 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 dodge. Walk. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, go down more. Left shift, here we go. So... If I push, oh, that's not what I want to do. Why doesn't it? Hmm. Okay, that'll work. So I can use that and then that'll be dodge. Okay. Good. Alright, so as long as we don't need zero, we're good. There's dodge. Yep. Okay, we're good. Alright, let's go. I'm gonna do it all from the mouse. I love this Corsair mouse. I always think that that's like loot. Hey, look it. Found the mysterious box. Dude, that shit is floating. Just like yeeted me. Escape the ship graveyard. We're not escaping, we're attacking. Guess we weren't supposed to claim it, we were just supposed to like find it. Oops, my bad. <laughs> Anything hiding out here? So we got to jump over this. All right. Oh, this guy is mad. Let's go. Oh shit, that was two hits. We got him staggered. Ooh, what do we got? Purchase upgrades. Sword and shield. Choose one unspent mastery point. Whirling blade. Quickly spin around while extending the sword out, dealing two hits of 80% weapon damage to all foes within two. M. M must be like the. Rush forward 5M stagger and pushing back foes. This ability has grit. Grit prevents you from being staggered from 
incoming attacks. Hmm. A whirlwind or a charge? Defensive versus leadership. Let's do AoE for right now. Alright, so that one's at Q. Okay. So. So one, two, three, four, five, six gets covered through the button. So the next one would be like seven, I think. So let's go. Well, Q's right next. We'll, we'll figure it out. Auto run. Let's go. Free zoomies. Reach higher ground. Ooh. That's some landscape right there. That's a picturesque landscape. Looks like we're going downhill. You have the choice. You forced my hand. Your soul is now mine. Uh oh, what do we eat when we open that box? Oh no, what are you doing, dude? What are you doing? Must be something he ate. Alright, big pirate, Captain Thorpe. Oh, we got him down. Oof, what just happened there? He's angry. Holy shit. Stop beating me. Oh, what'd we do? What'd we do? Oh. We just got lit up. Game over. Or is it? Elite chest can only be claimed once per day. Alright, level 2. Ding. Nice. First light has fallen. The merciless creatures of the angry earth have overrun the territory now known as Old First Light. Answering the sinister call of the ancient huntress Adiana, we've destroyed our homes and taken our friends captive, now subjecting them to unknown horrors. The settlement at First Light has been ravaged and the territory has been claimed by Angry Earth. All outstanding regional quests and tasks from First Light have been cancelled. Check your journal for further details. A wall of thorns has burst from the ground along the border of Old First Light, barring entry to any adventurers. Hmm. Compensation for governing companies. All holdings in First Light have been lost to ravages of the angry earth. If your company has experienced a territorial loss, you'll receive a one-time deposit paid directly into your treasury. All other rights and privileges associated with control of the territory have been lost. You have our sympathies in this time of crisis. Wow, they just wiped out everyone's stuff. Okay. I think we had to do something. Oh, we get two attributes. So strength. 
damage scales. Buh -buh. Dexterity. Oh, so we got to kind of like think about what we want to use as a weapon. Primary attribute for overall health. So health is always good. Primary attribute for life staff. Secondary for void gauntlet. Primary attribute for fire staff, ice gauntlet, void gauntlet. Primary attribute for bow rapier, spear and musket. Secondary attribute for sword and hatchet, great sword scales evenly with this attribute and strength. And warhammer, great axe, sword, hatchet, blunderbuss. Secondary attribute for the spear, great sword scales evenly with this attribute and dexterity. So it kind of makes sense that we like put one point here. In one point here sign those points and then leveling rewards what do we get oh we get weapons and camping bag slot and duels at level 10 a house at level 15 consumable slot camping upgrade ring slot exhaust staff 3v3 arenas at level 20 all right we did that Title. Do we got any titles? Hey, gameplay boy two 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 two. How are you doing today? Unexplored shores and no company territory bonuses. I guess windward. All right. Let's back out of here. Hey, we got chats now people chatting all right talk to lace and reese that's kind of nice they do the actual talking for us so we don't gotta narrate it Steady there, friend. Dying can be a rather experience the first time one goes through it wait am i dead Ooh, some boots, some XP, and some gold. Yeah, it did. It did. It was like, when it first came out, it was just like pumping, and then all of a sudden just like croaked up. But didn't they have like a problem with bots or something that like caused people to get annoyed? Oh, yeah, yeah, Lost Ark did. I think Lost Ark was the one I'm thinking of. Do you have food and supplies? Unfortunately, we can't keep the watchtower very well stocked. Bring your own meat is the rule. But there are some nice fat boar running around nearby. Of course, you're not exactly equipped for hunting, are you? What does he mean I'm not equipped for hunting? I have a sword and a shield. What equipment could I possibly yes, need? need a knife to start, unless you prefer your roasted ball with the skin on. Hmm, skin on. on be like the bacon with the rind on it. That would be good. I'm, I'm good. I don't need the skinning knife. Alright, I guess we're going to accept the quest. Basic needs. Open journal. Gather flint from the ground, gather wood from a bush, and then talk to him. Alright. So let's go find these thing thingies. We'll leave the the oh what do we got here? We got some flint. Okay, so I'm grabbing it. Grab all of it. All right, we got flint. Now we gotta find some wood. Oh, we got bush. Hey, okay, found some wood. We'll just grab some more of these bushes since they're right here. I'm sure we're going to need green wood for more than just this. Alright. Let's go back to the dude. Yo, Leeson. Alright. 
Alright, so we got to craft the skinning knife. Yeah, and then I guess set active tool. So we can craft the harvesting sickle. What else? A mining pick. And a logging axe. I think we're going to have to find one other thing before we can make the fishing pole, though. What, do we, what else do we need for the fishing pole? Fibers. we got to find some fibers. I'm guessing that's off of a plant that's not going to give you tree stuffs. Uh, we'll talk to him and see what he says. One of the nicest, coolest skinning knives I've seen. Sure. It's important to know how to provide for yourself here. Oh, main story quest completion, let's go. And a ding. We dinged. It's reasonably safe at the road in the town of Corinth, but out here we are on our own. Is that the town you came from? Yes, it has its own share of troubles, but nothing. We're going to get some bacon. Mm-mm-mm. Bacon. Alright, where's the pigs? We feasting. Alright, I saw one. Yeah, there he is. Alright, let's go. Oh, wait, we gotta do the thingy. Um, K it, K it is. Alright, so let's do. We'll just keep strength and constitution for right now, so we're building up that health base. I think it's a tank mentality I have. It's the tank in me. Green wood. Oh, we got some bait too. We got some bait out of that one. Oh, what's this? What we got? Read. Attempted escape. My desperate pleas fall on deaf ears. Captain Tavares will not be swayed from his mad plan. I insisted that no ship can resist the ravages of the maelstrom. No amount of armor will protect the hull. No cunning configuration of sails will weather the storm. This is sheer folly, but I owe the captain my life. I'm compelled by honor to obey his command. I fear we are damned. I can only pray that the vendetta will serve as a warning to others. May God have worse mercy on our souls. DP. Hmm. All right, we read that one. Now let's get this pig. Get over here. Me, me, me. Ooh, that's what, that was a good pick. Alright, so now we gotta skin this big bad boy. Getting in there, getting... See, look at that. We're going right for the bacon. We ain't going for the rump roast, the ham, the ribs. We're taking the bacon. Let's do it one more time for prosperity. Get in there. Let's go. Get see look at he's going for the bacon again. He ain't taking the he ain't taking anything but bacon. Man after my own heart. Bushes. Can we get some fiber maybe? We need a fish pole. Must be something else. Maybe it's like a flower or something I have to pick instead of a bush. I guess we'll see. Cook a light ration at the campfire. It's time to make bacon, boys. Might as well cook them all, huh? Yep, it's all about that grind. We gotta grind those bushes, grind those mines, grind levels. 
I'll grind all day. Um, oh, we can do an energizing light reaction. We get a first craft bonus for all these two. That's kind of cool. And we're getting some windward standing just by crafting. Um, what else? What else? Is this better than mine? Hmm. Anything else we can craft? Um, no, not yet. All right, so let's suck this. Oh, wait. We got to bring over that gear that we got. Look at that. We're looking fancy. Hey, Slim. What's good? How are you doing today? We got pants. Hunter's chosses. Oh, we danged again. What does it mean to be corrupted? All good stuff. What kind of stuff you make in there at the shop? Possessed, like by a demon? The ship I arrived on, where is it? Just across the water, because frankly, we need to deal with the corrupted gathering there. Oh, nice. I know it's not a pleasant task, but if you can put down some of your former crewmates, it's a start. You guys do like the whole, like, where you had to build it, you get the screen and then you do the swipeies across it, or is it more like the the digital type of screen printing. Like I, I did it, I think, I can't remember if it was like high school or if it was something else, but they had like wood frames. Oh, sweet. Yeah, that's like when I was in high school, I think it was, there was a class that I took where we did stuff like screen, like the actual legit screen printing on the t-shirts. And then there was something, there was other stuff that we did. We made, um. Like little metal boxes, uh, we did, yeah, it was, it was cool. I really enjoyed it. Oh, oh look, we're going to get a tarnished oh, amulet. I miss I, that's one of the things I miss about having like an office job is like being able to like do stuff like that like building and well, this guy didn't even skin his pig what a waste I'll go I'll get this pig but I did um so like I picked up leather working and I'm, I'm obviously not very good at it because I haven't done it very much but um, I picked it up and in our, we have a room off of where my work office is and in that room we have a couple of desks set up where we do, um, we have the ability to do crafting and stuff and I got a leather working set up over there so that I can practice doing leather working stuff like that. It's kind of nice to be able to just learn how to do crafts like, I don't know, I'm a hobby addict though too so, might be a me thing. Investigate the wreckage of the ambition and defeat your corrupted crewmates. Oh, this is gonna be sad. It must be done. Woo! 
Got him. Well, this guy's just trying to campfire. Why we, why we gotta get him? Oh, what's over there? Oh, uh, now we got it because there's some loots. Supply cache. What we get? Majestic boots. Iron cartridge. What's majestic boots? Oh, recipe. Oh, that was some massive quick response. All right, let's get out of there. Move on. We got to kill five. Only five? That doesn't seem like a lot. Oh, wait. What? Ha. You missed. All right, we got him. That's five. Now we got to go back. That seems like... I don't know. It's five is cool, but it seems like we should have had to like eradicate more. They're trying to get rid of the problem. They only want me to do five. Talk to Layson Reese, who's going to tell us we're awesome. I like the combat so far in this game. Like the active RPG combat. Alright, we complete the quest. We get the rewards. The stone wall was a fact of life here. It completely surrounds the island, wrecking any ships that approach and any that attempt to leave. But the stone is unnatural even by eternal standards. Hmm. There must be something or something causing it. Who could be causing it? I'm not sure. Like it must be coordinated somehow. Generally, so no shipwreck only once a season, and even then, there are usually more. Seasons. I don't know. I, I I don't understand it either. It's it seems perfectly fine to me so far. Uh, All right, we're going to look for survivors now. Sure, I'll go volunteer. We will. And what Layson doesn't fully grasp is that the only way we can progress in the game is if we do what he's asking us to do. We're not doing it because we want to. We're doing it because we're committed. Let's do... Let's double up. Actually, let's do one strength and one dex this time. Because dex, you need for swords. I'm probably going to do, like, swords. Or a big axe. Those all look like good things to me. Wow, we're almost level 5 already. Okay, so now we got to... Wait, what? Oh, okay. We're going this way now. I thought we were going to have to go back where we just came. Like, yo, dude, why couldn't we do this all at once? You're going to wear out these new boots you gave me before I even get a chance to get off this damn beach. 162. Um... um I'm guessing we gotta go that way. There's a cave over there, though. That looks. Cool. Let's go to the cave. Cave first. No mount. <laughs> I don't think we get. I don't think we're getting one. Not yet. Oh, what's this? We got four. Oh, there's some loot up there. You know we're skinning this thing. A three skinning and tracking and then oh wait what's this is this fiber could it be oh we gotta switch tools don't we oh 
Oh wait, it's not gonna let me. Lame. All right. But we got a treasure box up here. A supply cache. What do we get? <laughs> we get ass drawed by a bear or boar. That's what we get. Oh no, you don't. Take that. Let's get them. Some more bacon. Hey, oh, we got a pristine animal thing. That's fancy. Supply cache. Eight iron cartridges. I don't think we need those, but you know what? We'll take them because I'd be probably have like an auction house or something in here, I'd imagine. All right, so now we got to go this way. We're going to swim. Oh, we just found a new place and we got some standing with the uh, wild wood stuff. Oh. All right, we got him. What's this? Flint. We got a lot of flint. Search for survivors among the wreck. Well, I don't want to just do that. I want to get these guys 11 XP get that sword mastery going oh look at that we got sword and shield 3 let's get this guy this guy ooh the double up on the strength seems like it was a good idea we're just slaughtering things that's what you get Oh, we hear someone yelling. Where are they? Where are you yelling? Oh, you guys are in cages. Oh, we got a big, big boy. All right, let's get these cages out. Okay, we'll get these nodules out. One more. Hey, we found someone. Yo, what's up? Alright, this is the way I wanted to go anyways, because I wanted to see what else was all hanging out here. It's over here. Probably more flint. Oh, she's running now. We running. Oh, we got mastery points. We got stuff. There's actually a watch store nearby. We'll cache. XP and coin. Coin is capped at 500,000. Oh, ding, level 5. There's booty to be had here. You're looting these ships. <laughs> How about an even split?
Oh, what's that? Oh, we get a great sword for that. Of course we'll do that. All right, everybody, I will be right back in a second, and we'll continue this journey. All right, we're back. Let's get back into this. You know what rhymes with coffee and tea? Soon after, you're gonna have to pee. All right, okay, search the wreck of the rosette. So we gotta go that way, but I wanna see what's over here. Make sure there ain't anything over here we're missing before we go over there. Adventuring, it's what it's all about. That's a big ass. That looks like a huge asparagus. All right. Here we go. Oh, we got Flint. You don't get any, I don't think flint counts for any kind of gathering. I think it's just you grab it and go. All right. We're going to use this high quality bridge to get there. Oh, we got a note. What does this say? Read it. The expedition embarks. On the day the expedition set sail, I discovered what Isabella had used in her negotiation. It was shackled below the decks of the Santa Maria de la Consolacion. A dirty hunched man with a great beard and eyes like embers in the hollows of his face. His wrists and ankles were clapped in irons, so there was nowhere for him to run, lest he sought to plunge over the side and drown perhaps. She had freed the heretic from his church cell. The man, barely human at all, was to be our guide. If I had known, I would have never come aboard, and now I fear where the words of this man will take us, to the bottom of the sea or worse to hell. I don't know, but it's some place far from God's grace. Of that, I am certain. I was to learn later on the red sign had sought to extract the knowledge of the isle of Azoth from the madman many times, but the only one he said he'd show it was Isabella. She must be the captain, he said. Do this and I shall show you the way to Vitae Eternum. It's the devil's price and Isabella had paid it. Woo. Oh, we got to do the thingy again. So we'll do strength and constitution. And then we have weapon mastery too. So we got sword and shield skillops. One point available. Um... A rend? Oh yeah, definitely. That's good. And then the next one is reduces its own cooldown by 5% for each enemy hit. So like Whirlwind Spam. Got it. And then we'll probably have to go over that way next, I would imagine. We need some defensive stuffs too. I don't know, do we really? Well, I suppose you can like just, if you like skill all these up, you just switch back and forth. 
I'd imagine you switch back and forth between weapons. That's kind of cool. It's kind of like the Final Fantasy XIV way of being able to play any class just by switching your weapons. That's one of the things I wish World of Warcraft would have done. I don't want to make like a 10 billion characters to try everything out. I would like to be a jack of all trades and a master of none of them. Oh, epic tracking and skinning ding. What do we got over here? It's another shipwreck. Read the ship's manifest. All right, so we gotta get over here. The manifest, the Rosette's manifest. We set forth from Hanfur with a hold full of cargo and handful of uniquely valuable items from Paris as a gift to the soldiers of the new fort. These items include a silver candelabra from the court of the late King Henry the Great, a blessed chalice from Bishop Richelieu at the Church of Lucan, and an astrolabe used by Samuel Campaign himself during an earlier voyage across the great western ocean. Signed, Marcel Dupont. All right, so we gotta collect all of the things. Get all the things. The sleeping piggy. We'll let him rest. We probably have enough stuff for bacon, to be honest. All right, we gotta jump. Wee, oh, look at this, oh. Look at all this bacon people left behind. Such a waste. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna skin and we're gonna get all this bacon. We're gonna take it for ourselves. No, my bacon! Alright, you can have that one. All right, we got the astrolabe. Run. Oh, what's down there? Hey, herbs, is that fiber? Could it be, could it be? Oh, ginger, not fiber. What's down, oh, we gotta go down around this way now. Wall hacks, nope. Not gonna let us. Alright, let's go around it. Okay, so we gotta get up in here. Alright, here's the shellies. Now we gotta go find the one last thing, and it's way over yonder. Up there. Okay. So, going this way. Um, what are we missing here? Where did it go? There it is. Alright, so the candelabra. Oh, I gotta talk to Grace. Where's Grace? 79 meters that away. All right, let's go. What's this? Oh, it's all flint. We'll let that for now. We need fiber. We need fruit and fiber. Something tells me I'm not getting a 50-50 split.
You want me to try? Let's go. That's what I say. I say, let's go. Sure, why not? Oh, we gotta go this way. We got two more points. Um. Let's chill off on the health for a second. Oh, I can put a number two weapon in. Let's do the great sword in the number two weapon. I don't want to drop it. I want to use it. Let's see what we got in here. Red meat, 20 red meat and three weak health potions. So we could put the health potions in to slot four. Um, where's the bacon we made? There we go. We'll put the bacon in slot three. And then the weapon in slot two. So we could switch to great sword. Hey, look at that. We could switch. Oof. Yeah, now we're swinging. All right, let's go this way. We'll try it out and see what happens. The satisfaction. Oh, bush. Ah, greenwood. We got lots of greenwood. Whoa, what's up with that? Throwing shit at me. That ain't nice. Oh, we could still block with the... Or is that, that's more like a parry, I would guess, huh? We need to get some great sword mastery. There we go. What's this here? I thought it was sparkling for a second. Um, let's see what's over this way. More stuff to kill. Ooh, we got a skill point. All right, let's look at what we get. Great sword. Onslaught or defiance? Defiance is like a defensive thing, huh? Yeah. Path of onslaught. So we can do cross cut. So we'll put that on Q. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, that's slick. Flint. Come on, I need some, like. No, that's bushes. Wait, what's this? Ah, uh, it's all bushes. I need fiber. Where's fiber come from? I know we're supposed to go the other way, but I want to see if there's anything up here. Oh, there's a bush. Can I. Can I herb it? No! Gotta be 30. Okay, let's go back this way. Take advantage of that good old auto run. Oh, you gotta not push the buttons if you wanna keep the auto run. These guys already came back, so let's try this move on these. I want to try this. Let's go. Bam! Devastating. Oh, wait, got bag of loot. What's this? 
take all. We'll take the staff. We can sell that. I'm gonna use it, but we can certainly sell it. We're poor. We gotta make gold somehow. Some coin. There we go. Let's get this guy too. What are you doing? I was way off on the dodge time in there. Hey, look at that. We got some more stuff. Tough and leather legs. Are those better than what we got? No, not quite. All right, let's go to the boat now. We got some stuff to get off this boat. Helps when you walk up the stairs, huh? Take the flag. And she wants the wheel. Oh, look at that. What's this? Ooh. I'll take this for ourselves. That guy's angry. Swashbuckler hat. I don't think we have a hat, do we? We do not. Yeah, that's what you get. Swashbuckler hat. Oh, we gotta put this talisman thingy on. Where's talisman thingy? Goes there. Swashbuckler hat up there. Hey, look at that. We look like a captain now. Alright, so now we gotta go back by Grace. Doing all this work. <laughs> oh, it's X to put the weapon away. Whoops. I don't have any muscle memory for this game yet. What's that big old bolt right there? Oh, I must just tell you where a shipwreck is. You could go this way, though. Turn to the Wind Watcher Tower. So how's everybody doing today? Everyone doing great? How's Friday going? Hope everyone's making most out of it, doing something awesome. We should go check it out. Oh, nice. Like Taekwondo or Jiu Jitsu or. Sounds good. Wait, what do we got? Oh, we got a letter over here. The Northman Shipwright. Two out of four maelstrom. Right, honorable sir. Captain Tavares of the Vendetta has tasked me of finding a Northman Shipwright named Didrik Gunderson. It's my understanding you may be familiar with this man. I believe the rumors claiming that this Northman had become lost are entirely false. I have spoken to a quartermaster who saw him drinking in this very establishment. A queer thing for a wither to do, wouldn't you agree? If I may impose upon you, I would request that you send immediate word to Captain Tavares' camp. 
Should you see this Northman, the captain will make it worth your while. Indebted to you, Duarte Pontes, shipwright. All right. Then we got the supply crate here. Might as well get see what we get in here. Old hardtack and 15 iron arrows. Um, oh, crafting. We've got some food to cook. Let's craft all these light rations. We need some food. Ah, MMI Mutai and kit kickboxing. Cool. What else can we make? Not a fishing pole yet. Mm. Looks like we, oh, we got cooking level two. Let's go. All right, so now we gotta get help from Grace O'Malley. Oh, nice. Good old watcher Lisa Louise says there's a town. I'll head there and send it to you. I'll set your barge aside until you get there. And my bad, I'll be saving up for a ship to escape this hellish island. Didn't you hear about Stormwall? Oh, I heard a lot of stuff from watcher Lisa Louise, but I don't believe even half of it. I haven't really watched any UFC stuff. I watch uh, WWE, though. I've been watching WWE for the last bit. It's one of my guilty, my guilty pleasures, watching wrestling. It's like my version of a soap opera. I'll meet you in town, at least. She doesn't have any faith in us, guys. No faith. Alright, so now we're going this way. We still need some fiber. We need fiber. I haven't seen it yet. Young tree, no equipped axe. What if, oh, maybe we get fiber if we chop a tree. Oh, we just gotta equip these. Chopping down that tree. Nope, greenwood. Alright. Now we gotta catch up with Watcher Reese over by the sea caves. Uh, no, actually. Um, the parent company for UFC bought WWE. So it's all one entity now. I can't remember what they named the, they actually gave the new company, which is both combined a different name. I don't know, like the storm like being right above these caves makes me not really want to go in there, but we got to do it. He had this great idea to go in there and now he wants to back out of it. We we're not backing out of it, we're going. Damn it. Oh, we get some fancy chest wear. Oh, that's right, they have the weight thingy in this game. Oh, nice. Warlock's fun. I still have to do 60 to 70 on mine. That's one of the ones that's left on the wheel picker thing. The patch comes out Tuesday, though, so I think I'm going to be stuck on doing all the new stuff. We 
got a Copernicus. He's coming to visit. You want to play New World 2, boy? You want to play 2? Come on. You want to play 2? You want to play 2? Come here. Oh, no, 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 no. Come over here. You play 2? Come on. You come play 2. Yeah. Come here, boy. Ooh. Whoa. We're going all over the place. There we go. All right. How's that? You want to play 2? You want to play 2? Ooh, it's a good boy. We're going to play too. All right, let's play. All right, we got to go into the demon storm. We're going into the demon storm, cool. Here we go. Here we go, Koopy. Let's go. Say it, Koop. Say it. Say it, Koopy. We got a quartermaster. Oh look at they're saying hi Copernicus. They're saying hello to this boy. They're saying hello. The true future of the human race. They're saying hello. What do you think about that? Hmm? Yeah. Alright, let's go. We'll get him. Oh, this guy up there is going to throw stuff at us. That's not very nice. Hey. Oh, it's throwing grenades. What kind of stuff is that? Oh, we got another guy up here. Oh, we got two of them. That's all right. Well, we got ice gauntlet. What's that? Oh, that's one of those uh, gauntlet casty type weapon thingies. Um, oh, which way? Let's go this way. What's up this way? Fun is up this way. Oh, I missed with the big hit. Oh, it's actually not bad. Um, yesterday it was it was kind of difficult to game. I got my desk, like having it stretched out and on the mouse. So I ended up actually going upstairs and playing Diablo on the PlayStation until bedtime. We're gonna break the veil. They did a really good job though, and I gave them the, uh, a picture of the next tattoo I want to get. And they said it's gonna take about six hours. So, I, I, obviously, I'm going to have to rainy day that, save up for a rainy day. A Tempest Priest. All right, let's get him. But I want to get that one. Next. Could we just nuke that guy? Wait a minute. If he's dead, what's he doing? What is, what is what's going on here? I thought he was, oh, I only hit him halfway. Superman punch. Hey. Uh, it's a $60 minimum and then $100 an hour. So the, um, the ones we got yesterday were $100 a piece. Defile Brother Hat. So I mean, it was pretty reasonable, and, and the artist is really good. So like, it was it was definitely worth it. You ready to go down? Here, hold on. There, go down. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Oh. Oh, is this priest coming to try to get revenge or what? Not today, priest, not today. Let's get out of here. Your contribution and rewards will be lost if you don't return now. What do you mean? 
I already killed them. I suppose because I was standing there playing with the pupper. I gotta do it over. There we go. Okay, let's get out of here. So there was another way, there was another direction that we could go. So we're gonna go the other direction this time and see what we find. Back through the veil. And then we can go this way. Oh, I suppose this is just going back to where we were. Just a different way of about it. But we got a stockpile. Hey, what's up with that? Oh, and a quartermaster. He's retreating. Wait, what? Oh, this isn't the same place. This is different. Or is this going to take us back where that other dude is? Um, yeah, it does. Down there is where the priest was. I'm pretty sure. Is there anything up here? Oh no, it just takes you out. I see. It's like a big roundabout. What was that? Salt Peter. Fifteen Salt Peter. Whoa, what? Again? This priest just doesn't give up. I guess we're gonna have to go down and kill him again. Oh, there's a loot bag down there on this. Get him, get him. Sure, we'll take the life staff and then we'll grab this loot and we're gonna run. Let's get out of here before he respawns again. Dun, da, da, da. Oh, look at another pile, a weapons chest. Hey, a repair. All right, where are we? Okay, we came. Oh, we came out the other side of the cave. It's like a secret entrance. What happens if we jump? Oh, fall damage. Maybe eat some rations. We gotta fight our way back. Oh, we got some loot over here. We sure do. Oh, book. We'll take a book. Oh, no, it's a supply crate. Get some dye and some cartridges. All right, we got to go back this way now. personal
such things from way back. And you disrupted it. For a pitbull legend right there, I say. Uh, you have no idea. We expect nothing less around here. Legendary behavior. And we got level seven. Cult thing. Oh, we got mastery points and attribute points. Cool. I suspect we'll see more corrupted in the future. But let's hope we can prevent such darkness as the legends speak of. Still, I'll write a report for the town. Tell them the storm's receded, but to remain vigilant. Ooh, do I get to deliver it? We oh, yeah, have territory standing, some coins, some XP, and a hat. All right. We'll go to the town. Okay, let's see what we got here. I still don't know why I can't use this. Oh, at an outfitting station. Okay, that makes sense. I'm guessing we got a crafting table type thing. Oh, this is actually a good upgrade. Let's get that on. Oh, now I look all stylish. Uh, none of those are better. That's not better. All right, now we're going to town. Where's town? Town's this way. All right, let's be on the lookout for fiber. I need. Oh, what's this? Did we get this one already? Rumors of the Beast. It is time you know the whole truth. Oh, apparently I have to know the whole truth too. Okay. The old Northman was clearly mad. Pale as a withered, I was stunned he could utter anything other than craves curses. I saw no evidence of the gifted shipwright he had once been. All I could see was a haunted corpse. He gibbered about a monster that locks in the heart of the storm. Kraken, he called it. A beast like a biblical leviathan. After uttering its name, he sees me with an iron grip, pleading with me as if his soul depended on it. Do not attempt to leave. Do not enter the storm. I left the poor wretch with a bottle of rum. I hope never to see him again. DP. We got a big, huge hammer we can grab here, too. All right, let's move on this way. See what we find on the way up. Investigate the ancient statue. Oh, this must be a little voice thingy. That's some ominous looking shit. Whoa. She's reaching her final form.
we say to her, guys. Come get some. Travel to the town of Corinth and deliver the Watcher's report. All right, now we're back on, on our mission. Oh, young tree. Why not? Hey, look at that. We got 73 points of logging. Oh yeah, we gotta look at the this one. Two points available. So this time we'll do a strength and a constitution. And we got a weapon mastery. Sign that point. Oh, let's see what that does first. Like Gain grit while performing crosscut prevents us from being staggered. Nice. Holy, all these trade skills. Ooh, that's fancy. It gives me a crafty gasm. I love crafting in these games. Dropped their fruit. They ate all the truffles. find some oh look at hey we're we gonna get fiber finally delicious truffle we're gonna get delicious truffles hey there's truffles delicious oh what's over there You know a game is adventurous when you're like on task for a quest and then all of a sudden like every little split second you're like, hey, what's over there? You see something, you gotta go check it out. Some delicious truffles. Need one more. Well, let's see what's here first though. This is boar. Oh, you're not stopping me from getting in there. I'll take that bacon. We'll take that bacon all day, every day. A provisions crate. We got some food, some bait. See, it just got me again. What's... Oh, no, you don't. Take that. There we get more bacon, more bacon. All right. What do we got here? Um, nothing. Okay. Holy leg spike. Alright, so now we gotta go to the town. What the hell? Baby Gravy Guzzlers Gamer kicked out of the group Genesis Mutation. It's like being spammed everywhere. What the hell? Oh, 
achievement unlocked. If it's quaint, it must be Windsward Hamlet. All right, we made it to the town. All right, I will be right back and then we're gonna continue this epic journey. Right, here we go. View house purchased for five thousand. The Baconator. I gotta have that title. Arcane Repository. Looks like we're going this way. He only likes us because we got truffles. basket all right where's the other one this way oh that one's good I bet he's going to want us to do something. Oh dang, level 8. It's gone from feast to famine. What can I do to help? Well, that's some coin right there. Hey, we can. All right, so we got an upgraded hat somewhere. There we go. So we're going to put that on. 
And it said we had to hit M for territory standing. House ownership. We get a huge discount. All right. What else do we gotta get? Oh. We got two points. Let's put one in dex and one in strength this time. Oh, we got any leveling rewards? Let's check that. All right, so it was giving us a house that I just caught if there was one there. Hmm. All right, anyways. Moving on. <clears throat> we gotta find a place to sell all these weapons, too. Oh, what's this? Woodlouse Invasion. Shields Fishing Stories. There's few pleasures greater than finding a big fat woodlouse after taking the time to rustle one of the many bushes in Eternium. There are few greater shocks, though, than finding the buggers you made a, have made a home in your wooden furniture. Beware taking home your woodlouse collection and always keep it in your bag lest you want these precious chairs and chests of yours to spark an infestation take it from me you do not want to know how much pest removal costs in eternium when the pests are the size of your thumb and breed faster than rabbits whoa all right so here's our quartermaster No, it doesn't seem to be. The speaker of the winds, he sounds pretty important. Oh, so Sorceress Medea is like, who wants to kill us for stealing their stuff? I wonder if it's like the same Medea from those Tyler Perry movies. They're, ty they're Tyler Perry movies, aren't they? She's not someone you cross. Suppose we gotta go talk to him. We got healthy cachet of gold coin plus nine coin. Sure, I'll go do it. Say less. We gotta find the. Well, I guess we don't have to find it now, but we eventually will have to find where to sell all this stuff. What's this? Smelters, tier five. Well, that's for m making ores and stuff. That's pretty cool. And this is the wood choppy choppy shop. Feeling croppy. Okay, let's go up this way. Dun, 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 dun. What am I missing here? Why is it sending me back ways? What's going on here? This way? And this way? I don't understand. Why it sent me back this way. YOLO! Check with the innkeeper. The Southern Breeze Inn. Yo, innkeeper. Welcome to the Southern Breeze. Gentlemen, always oh, guests. Guest registration. 
Oh, yeah. We, we definitely want to do that. Talk to Grace O'Malley. What is she doing here? Oh, yeah, she owes us money. I've <laughs> raided tombs more lively. Also, the bag of coins that we get is the stuff that the mummy shows us from all the treasure. get for money and what did she give us oh yeah we got the produce thing too we gotta open that get some salt some milk some squash some corn some sugar some eggs some flour and some carrots I got 50 coins salvage your weapons armor and tools for repair parts oh we can just do it right there Returns two repair parts and 25 coin. Sure. Oh, we could just hit C in that. There we go. No need to vendor. This is kind of sweet. Open up some space, get rid of that weight. Okay, so we can't get rid of any of that stuff. Why don't we have this equipped? Oh wait, is the other one better? Oh, they're the same. We can salvage this one. We don't need two. Here we go, got two flints. Open the trading post and open a storage shed. So this looks to be the training post. Trade. Sell. Let's sell these. Huh? Is it gonna cost four gold to put up 11 of them? I don't think that's very profitable. Since we're only gonna get 0.16. Doesn't look like that pays to put those up. Unless I'm reading that wrong, but I don't believe I am. What about these arrows? No, oh, it's like a four four coin listing fee to sell something for seven hundredths of a coin. No, oh, thank you. We'll, we'll vendor those. What we can buy? So weapons. Two-handed weapons. 
can equip and can afford. Well, great axes. No, none of that stuff's better than what I what we got. Ooh, what's this? That's better than what we got. What about great swords? What about the great swords? There it is. Nine pages. Iron Great Sword 208. Eight coins. We got, yeah, we got, we got enough coins. Okay, so let's look now at one handed weapons. Sword. Iron Long Sword 204. That's beastly. Alright, we're gonna get that. We're gonna get some good gear. Some good armor. Oops, we wanna go back. We want a shield too. Good shield. Four. Tower shield. No existing cell orders. Kite shields. No, oh, none of those either. Interesting. All right, well we'll get we'll get a round one then. So iron round shield sounds good. All right, now armor. Should probably do medium armor. Headwear. Ooh, expensive. About chest wear. Expensive. What about like heavy, heavy armor? Well, those gauntlets are pretty nice. Five. I'll just go with what we got for right now, I guess. It's way better than what we had. can salvage these okay now we got to find the storage shed it's like we gotta go this way That's where we can just put stuff that we need to put stuff. So we get our weight down. That makes sense. All right now what do we gotta do? Return to the inn. All right, let's go. Back to the inn we go. Oh, she's coming to talk to us again. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, and level 9. Ooh, we got level two windward standing. We're becoming famous. Oh, no way. <laughs> we just bought a new sword. <sighs> Maybe we can sell that one. Oh. We got some things to take care of. So territories, we got standing. Do we get anything? Uh, territory standing, XP gain or gathering speed. Hmm, this is interesting. 3% XP isn't really all that much. Rep boost will probably give you more rep rewards. Hmm. What do you guys think? I'm kind of leaning towards territory standing myself, but. I don't know, 3% XP would get you to 60 faster. Although marginally. Hmm. I don't really care about the gathering speed. Should we do eeny, meeny, miny, mo? Why not? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tigger by his toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. XP gain it is. Oh, we get something else too. Decreased crafting fee. Decreased tax rate. Storage. Increased storage by 25%. Decreased trading tax. I'd say trading tax. Alright, we got some stuff. What we got here? It says Supreme. Good old historians. Guess we gotta go find them. I would greatly appreciate that. But be cautious. The ancients knew the powers we don't fully yet understand. My team call rigorous note takers. If you discover any of the journals, please collect them. Best of luck. Sure, we'll do it. Oh look at that, we get a nice hatchet. Okay, so we head up this way now. Talk to this dude. Yeah. He's got some pretty good chops for a beard. Impressive. What do you guys think, chat? Should I get my beard like that? Some lamb chops. A crisis that demands action, not finger pointing. Some people are afraid to take the work of the sorcerer from the king, but that's a load of hogs. So he doesn't think it's about the tribute? Of course not. A damn sorceress doesn't deserve our hard earned goods. But that was a misunderstanding. We, we sent the damn tribute. No. Always blaming the druids. They were the first to transform the souls lost. I can you imagine such a tragedy? The very people we trusted to care for our crops became monsters and started this damn plague. 
What can I do to help? <laughs> you know, Dal, I actually thought about that. I thought about messing with my beard as like a as like a kind of a content type thing, but I don't know if I can bring myself to it. It's I'm I'm fairly attached to it, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't cut it since like uh like June or July last year, maybe, maybe August. And I felt weird having it shorter. But I suppose it always grows back. I'll, I'll think about it. Surely it'd be a perf I have a couple ideas that would be perfect for that. Like if I actually committed to it. Um, why? Oh, we gotta go out to the, out to the land now. Still no mount yet, by the way. I don't, do they have mounts in this game? I don't know. Oh shit. It's probably bad. Oh, fresh water. Fresh water is good. Nothing bad about fresh water. Um, I'm guessing we... Oh, wait. There's a book over here. Look at us finding stuff. Collectibles in games are so addicting. Have you seen... Have you seen the Emerald Queen? Fragments 103. I went all the way for that. Almost drowned for that. What's this fire thingy? We have fire thingy. It's getting distracted by thingies. And there's a question mark thingy. All the thingies. Look at all the thingies. Let's we gotta see what this is. Yo, what's up? I just got XP for saying, yo, what's up? Ooh, what's this? Come on. Turquoise pigment. What about this right here? Oh, bull rush. Reeds, come on. We need fiber. Fiber. What didn't give you XP? I really like the adventure feel in this game. I ain't gonna lie, I do. Oh no, you don't, big green bill wolf. Yeah, get wrecked. <laughs> oh, we can skin him too. Yeah, no kidding. False advertising. What do we got over here? Oh, we got a letter. Some kind of fishing trap. Bread as bait. Two out of three shields fishing stories. Whoop, whoop. Now I believe there's a lot of differences between man and fish, so whatever Grandmaster Fisher Matura says about us being similar might just be his special brand of crazy, but he is right about one thing. People and fish alike love bread. I've always noticed the better fish come inspecting my bobber when there's bread attached. You don't have to be the one you don't have to be one with the sea to see that. Huh. Okay, so now we gotta go back to where's we lost um track of that fire thingy. Did the fire thingy go away? Not oh, there it is. 61 meat. Oh, we were on our way there.
All right, what's this guy got to say? Hello. Oh, he's going to teach us to fish. Maybe we'll get a fish pole. All right, where can I get some bait? Oh, yeah, we get the fish pole. We're, we're getting one. We are getting the fishing pole. Hmm. I already had the bait. I get no XP though. No XP. How goes your fishing? What should I do next? Let's get it on the action now. Casting, hooking, and reeling. Three basic steps. Casting, hooking, and reeling the sucker in. Alright. Go for hours nonstop. Says level 10 quest, but I think we could still fish right now. We could still catch the fish. Alright, we got crafty stuff except for the Azoth staff slot. Forge your Azoth staff in Windsward. And then we can play guitar, a bass, a mandolin, flute, and drums. Alright, so we gotta try to find fish. Where do we find fish? Whoa, Husky with the huge host, 11 viewers. How are you doing today? How was your stream? How are you doing? I'm doing great. Doing amazing. How is everybody today? Oh, so you gotta have fish jumping out of it and then you can like... Ah. So we are just playing some New World today, trying it out. Uh, trying to see... Check out how the game is. I played it like when it first came out. And uh, after that, it just kind of... I don't know, I just fell off of it. So we're giving it a fair shake again today. And hey, thank you for the raid. That's amazing. So I don't see any fishing spots. No pools. What's this? Oh, fresh water. Now uh, we'll get back to task. We gotta go meet these people and save them. All right, so what does this guy got to say? A monk of all the most flourishing thieves in all Eterna. Now this. The Druze were such gentle people. And now they're these lost swarmers destroying the land. That sounds very unfortunate. What can we salvage? He did. Must get the windows going again. So how's everyone's Friday going today? Everyone doing awesome. I hope you guys are all well. Lost swarm answers and withered are everywhere. They already know we have to do this, right? Because, I mean, they have to play the game. Uh, actually, we're just starting, I think, like level 9, just about level 10. I had a level 16 character back when it first came out. And then I figured for today, it's been so long since I played it that I would just delete that character and then start fresh. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, let's look at the character menu. So we are level nine right now. I had some points to use. We're doing like a sword and sword and board, and then like a um, 
And then a um, great sword build, like a two-hander build for damage. So New World is a massive multiplayer online game created by Amazon Games set in a, a world called Eternium. And as far as I've seen so far, like there's some wicked witch that's spreading corruption through the world, turning people into like zombies, and you gotta save the world and there's like a really immersive crafting system in it there's like tons of different crafts yeah sorry i'm a career uh, sorry i'm a career tank in pretty much every game that i play like world of warcraft is my primary game so i always end up leaning towards tank because it's what i'm most familiar with um and then we just kind of play it out and I, I don't do casting very i'm i'm not a ranged dps by any stretch of the imagination and not really a healer either so kind of playing to my strengths right now in this game but yeah there's like a massive crafting so we got like trade skills you got weapon smithing armoring engineering jewel crafting arcana cooking furnishing music fishing mining logging leather working woodworking smelting weaving stone cutting harvesting tracking and skinning and then instead of having to make multiple characters, it looks like, at least what I understand, is that you can kind of level up these different types of weapons and then that kind of builds your character how you play. Um, you get achievements, gotta love those. Um, bio. So you get titles every once in a while. That you can add. Um, you get attribute points every time you level. You get rewards for leveling. And then, what are we looking for? You got, um, beyond that, you have like territories. So you become renowned in areas. And as you level up, you get to pick, um, you get to pick standing bonuses. Like right now, I get tax on my, um, what do you want to call it? The, auction house basically a five percent tax is it i've never tried it uh you i can own a house in windsward and then i get xp gains it's been so long this is just like really oh turn windmills all right it's like playing it for the first time for me almost because i mean i know i did all this stuff because i did get 16 levels but i really oh we get straps I haven't really like played it since then. I didn't have a reason for not playing it anymore. I think it was just that everyone else that I game with was playing something else and I was kind of off here on my own and I didn't really like get together with anyone in the game and it kind of just fizzled out for me. You know, part of playing these games is having that social aspect and if you don't really have that, yeah. I mean, it's it's good. I I like it. It's really it's really like adventure, and that's what I really like in these kind of games is to have like that that epic feel of adventure where you're like going on task and doing something, but then all of a sudden you get distracted by like ten billion things. You got to have that in a game because it tells you that the developers took care and um, took a lot of care into making sure the world was immersive instead of just kind of making it linear. Oh, what did we get? We've got a great sword skill. Cross execution. I did notice that there are some like laggy bits in this game too. I really did notice that it was. It's a, like it was choppy. Um, I haven't noticed it in crafting yet, but I haven't done like a ton of crafting. So, oh, we gotta go this way. But it's like the combat system is kind of different and nice too. It's not just like smacking hot fire buttons. It's more of an active engagement, which is kind of nice. Oh, is this a mega boss? Oh, 
Oh, we got a stockpile cache A2. Uh-oh. Hey, that's not fair. It's only one of me. Whew. Suppose we're gonna have to eat now. Oh, we got some loot. Spear of the Fighter. Yeah, that can really be a motiv uh, motivation killer. For sure. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, you could like you could get distracted by the crafting and gathering in this game really easily, I feel like. You could just be going on task and then all of a sudden find yourself clicking on weeds for like an hour. Oh, we got we got standing increase and we got some gauntlets. Good thing I didn't spend gold at the auction house. We're getting all kinds of stuff in here. Hey, Disco Disco TV. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Growl community. How are you doing today? Oh, we get bacon. Bacon's been the thing this morning. All right, hey, we got here blueberries. <laughs> I just dinged on a blueberry. Amazing. We got bag slot and duels. View leveling rewards. F one. Oops. Here, let's. Wait, what do we? Oh, I forgot to do the thingy. We gotta do the thingy first. Turning on the wood mill windmills. Let's get this guy. Peekaboo. We'll just swing. Oh, these guys are all dropping gear. Okay, so we gotta check all this stuff out. Oh, let's see, we got a great axe, uh, heavy chest wear. Probably put that on. Some knight's pants, those are better. Uh, we don't want any of that stuff. These we could sell in the auction house, it looks like. So we'll keep on. We'll hold on to those. Oh, wait. I got a music sheet. Let's learn that. Upright bass sheet music. Sweet. Oh, we got a level up, too. What about this? Oh, we got chorus, chorus drum sheet music, too. We can play the drums. Nice. Oh, instead of using them? I better... <laughs> thanks for the tip. I should probably make sure I check them before I use them. We're poor in the game right now. Any, anything we can get is going to be good. Alright, so now we gotta go. We need a sack. Oh, we gotta select an upgrade. Station fee. Standing gain. Let's do standing gain. Congratulations on the chat level, Isaria. We need grain. We need another sack of grain. This guy is committed. Let's see. Did they bring it in the house? 
Oh, we got a letter. Hidden treasures. Finished tilling up a new field for planting and spent most of the time clearing all kinds of rocks from the place. Looks like someone had just poured them out right below the topsoil. A couple of the farmlands were slacking off and throwing the rocks around. And damned if one didn't break open and have some kind of crystals inside. Don't know what they are, but they're pretty. Might fetch a good price the next time we go to the market. Looks like he hit the jackpot, maybe. What do we got up here? Hey, how's it going? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, we got provisions. We're just shamelessly looting inside this poor woman's house. Okay, we need one sack of grain. We got corn. Okay, those look like sacks of green. Oh, those ones don't count though. Hmm. Oh, maybe across the street. Yep, there we go. There's the number one. Ha, <laughs> outhouse. That reminds me of the outhouse quest in World of Warcraft where you gotta like bring the dwarf in the outhouse some toilet paper. Oh, hmm. We got beetle. Yep, there's our green. Alrighty. Okay, so we got that now. We gotta go fill the cart with greens and vegetables. Get this guy right away while we're on our way out. Fill up the cart. Potion pouch. Hey, we got big old XP. Oh, we got achievement too. Disco, Disco TV, you have yourself a great night. Thank you, thank you. We'll do strength and. Let's do strength and dex this time around. Oh, now he's got more work for us. Do you see anyone out there who hasn't become lost? The curious, the farmers, surely someone... We saw that woman. Well, I guess we're going back to the farm. We can look for some food too. Oh, we get some nice boots. That's late. Well. Oh wow, 3:20 a.m. Where are you guys all at? I'm in um, Wisconsin, United States, like 10:20 in the morning here. Oh, New Zealand.
thank you for the follow, Asaria, and you have yourself a great night. Hope you sleep well. Get rested. We're going to try to figure out fishing. Oh, nice, Husky. See you around, definitely. All right, thank you, Husky, again for the follow. I can't appreciate you enough, and you have yourself a great evening, great night. Get some good rest. And actually, I'm going to take a brief pause here for a minute. I'm going to be right back. All right, we're back. So we gotta figure out fishing now. Oh, F3. Thank you, that, that saves me some time trying to figure this out. Oh, look at that, we got hold cast. I suppose we gotta equip bait. We got, let's do a premium firefly bait. We'll try that first. All right. Oh, I missed. Oh, there goes the premium bait. I guess we're doing, uh, we'll do firefly bait. We'll try them. So we gotta get ready to hook him. Got him! Oh, that's right, you gotta like be careful or you break the line. I think I remember this now. Here fishy fishy. Four. Oh, we got a large perch. Nice. We got, oh, shallow. Get these fishies in. I think we got him. Got him. Small perch. All right, we got to hook one more and reel one more in. Maximum. Got him. Oh, this is a tiny fishy. I'm dragging him. Hey, there we go. Now we got to talk to Dina Ruby. Um, but first we got to go. Oh, we got to go back to the farm. That's right. 
turkey. Oh, I gotta get rid of the. There we go. Turkey. Get back here, turkey. I almost chopped down the tree instead of the turkey. Get over here. Hey, we got him. Hey, Jacko, how are you doing today? It's going pretty good. This game is really fun. Doing some adventuring. And congratulations on the chat ding. That's good. Relaxing is amazing. That's what I'm going to be doing tomorrow and Sunday, I think. Getting some relaxation in before losing my vacation to work. Whoa, what? The one armed bandit got me. We were having a pleasant conversation, too. Um, is in here somewhere? Is it upstairs? Oh, oh but there's loot up here. Looks like a supply crate. Whoa. Honestly, it's pretty good. It's like really adventure -y. Like... I bought it when, when it first came out and I played it for a little bit and then I stopped. But like, I don't know, it's really adventure -y. There's a whole lot of crafting to be done and like, it's like... The world's pretty immersive. I've like been sidetracked a bunch of times already this morning. Supposed to go do the X thing and then all of a sudden you're like, ooh, something shiny and then you just go over it and forget what you were doing. Hey, we found someone. No, we don't. The way is clear. Run, man, run! Alrighty. Can we kill the scarecrow? Nope. So now it says, oh, look at this guy. Really? Oh, there we go. Now we're going on this way. Do, 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 do. Oh, we gotta go in the house. Hey, we already saw this woman. We already talked to her. She's pretty cool people. She let me eat some bread. Really good. Okay, so chat, we just walked up the stairs to sneak past the monsters, and we're just telling this lady it's alright to leave. Here, we we gotta do the right thing here. We gotta do the right thing. We can't be baiting people and feeding the zombies. All right, so now we gotta go which way? This way. Oh, we got one starfish. I don't know what that means. Oh, you're gonna come along, aren't you? All right, I suppose. If we must. Oh, we got a musket. So we gotta go talk to these people that we saved. Beatles. 
and began emitting green smoke. And through it is, it just fell over and, and transformed. Hmm. Interesting. So maybe it was the druids, huh? Okay, so we gotta talk to the girl we saved now. Magic of the island itself, interesting. Could be sorceress Medea. So, like, the land is rotting. Uh oh. She's tilted. Okay, sounds good. Don't tell him I told you. That, my friend, was most impressive. These vegetables may make all the difference. I spoke to the farmers who rescued. Hmm. They said you also rescued a druid? Yep, we got a druid. We got some new boots. Sure. Hmm, Iron Rose Mercenaries. They were hired by Medea herself to protect and transport the tribute, but the town had engaged them for security as well. I haven't seen a single member of the Iron Rose Company since the whole thing started. You and me both, buddy. Oh uh, no, no, they're gonna give us a shield. We just bought one. I should get these boots back to town instead of this desperate meeting. Good luck. Sure. Thank you. Alright, so let's look at this mappy here. So we're supposed to go there. And there. Where's the other one? There was a third one. Oh yeah, then there's this uncharted landmark too. I suppose it makes sense for us to go here to the tribute. Let's track the tribute. We got anything we gotta chop up? This thing. We're like halfway to burdened. Oh, we never figured out how to get rid of this stuff. I suppose we could just equip it, can't we? Does that take the weight away? It does. Okay, so we're good there. Alright. Past the farm and to the tribute. Away from the bee. Oh, we got some of the read. We got reading material. Uh, chance meeting. Oh wait, we're gonna have to take care of this first. We'll read it in a second. Look at this guy flinging stuff at us. 
What do you think you're doing, buddy? That's what you get. All right. Now let's read it. Before we were so rudely interrupted. Chance meeting, Cartier's journal, one of nine. Chance meeting and odd meeting with someone I had nearly forgotten about. The gentleman scholar I'd met the previous year, M. Greenville, Grenville. The man seemed struck by the same wonderlust as I. What's going on, Reflexine? How are you doing today? I hope today is treating you well. Though it seems more in the way of digging up stones and picking at bricks and old ruins. I offered him and his companion shelter for the night, but though his companion seemed to want to rest, he seemed eager to be on his way and kept speaking of a great discovery that was within his reach if all his efforts proved true. His manner, while not hostile and uncertain, he meant no rudeness or insult by it, was rather unsettling and seemed to have an urgency about him, not of one fleeing something, but chasing something. In an attempt to calm him, I asked if he still played his piano, and he seemed confused for a moment, as if he had quite forgotten it existed, then shook his head as if the memory was an alchem, a distraction. I hope he finds what he seeks, though I fear he might stir up in Brightwood if he does not take care to slow his pace. Rene and Rene Marie Cartier. Hmm. Oh, here's another one. What? Oh, there's another one. So much book. A Death of Cold. Cartier's Journal, two of nine. I hunt bison in the area mostly for something to do. They roam thickly here and in Everfall, and the skins fetch a decent price in Windsward for those unwilling to do the labor. I've not had the same aversion to cold as other settlers. Oh, we got interrupted again. Let me read. I just want to read. That's what you get. Alright. Oh, uh, so where were we? Hunting near the mountains is peaceful to me. I had a small base camp at the mountain to the north along the trails, but past this expedition I found little game as it went deeper into the snows and mountains than before. It was there I came across the first bison corpse, killed by wolves it seemed at a glance, but upon inspection I saw like the wounds the bison bore were marks of teeth and claws much bigger than any wolf I'd ever seen. Inspecting the corpse more carefully I discovered the bison's mouth to be covered in ice as if its breath had frozen before it was torn apart. The icy tracks of the assailant led to the northern mountains. That sounds crazy. Yeah, let's kill this guy first, because... Jeez, there's another book. Were we going to get the whole book? Are we going to get it all right away? Hmm. Migration. Sure, three of nine. Cardia's journal. The reason for the migration of animals and beasts is now clear to me. They are fleeing south, driven by the great cleave to the north. If so, they may be a warning that the corrupted may be massing for another foray into the Brightwood. This has swept away my desire for the hunt. If I remain overlong, it will be I who will be hunted, and I fear for my soul should these devils capture me. And take me to the shattered mountain. Rene Marie Cartier. Alright, let's kill this guy. And oh, there's another one over there. I, I, we might get. Oh, what's that? See, you get so distracted by all the shinies in this game. So distracting. Oh, we can't do anything with that. Alright, back to reading. Reading material. A lifetime's work. Cartier's Journal, 4 of 9. It's not the animals brought with us on Limro Ramone, Renome, blah, 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 something that interests me, nor the deer or wolf of the isle. Though of great size and fierce disposition, it is the beast native to Eternium. I fear it would take a lifetime, perhaps several, to see them all, yet my curiosity will not let me remain idle. Even Jacques' memory has faded, washed away as he was in the storm, but perhaps that is for the best, for had he survived, life would have been quite different. I have been given a chance many would dream of to explore this isle and see what flourishes here. Hmm. 
Interesting. Also, there's one over there too. I'm guessing the other ones are gonna be in the house. Into the depths, five of nine. Ahead to the great crater lake at first light. The journey will be long, but I think the league shall pass quickly. I have heard tales of the strange forest creatures there, seemingly woven from the wood itself. A trapper in the local outpost had given the creature a name. A spriggan. Oh, spriggans. A tree spirit, the height of four men with the body and limbs of branches given life. Is this something born of the isle, perhaps something created by the Azoth in the forest? This isle is filled with wonder, and I wish to see them all. May fortune favor me on my journey. A glimpse of such a sprite is all I require, even if I must spend weeks circling the lake. That's commitment. That is straight-up commitment right there. All right, let's see what we got here. The new predator. Oh, this guy's coming. Look at him. He's getting ready. Getting ready to get this great sword. Oh wait, we're on the regular sword and board right now. Oops. Oh, he's getting sorted either way. All right, the new predator. Six of nine. The tracks of the creature that killed the bison were that of a wolf, but not a pack of wolves, a single wolf. Oh, I'm getting interrupted. It's so rudely, so rude. This is what you get. You get whirlwinded, buddy. Oh, we got some loots. All right, we got to get the loots first. Vial of Wispy Energy. Alright. I consider myself no coward, but the Isle's mysteries frighten me, for I do not know what the snows hide that stalks in the shape of the wolf or whose tracks are blended with that of the forest, but I do not wish to find out. Oh, he's not so inquisitive anymore. Oh, look at we got one right here. Stag of the Forest. Yet, as the bison seemed too thin in the passes and I became wary of the strange wolf tracks in the mountains, I find myself avoiding the mountain snows and instead favoring hunts deeper in the woods. It was on the hunt today that I first caught sight of the stag. Not a stag as familiar to us, but something that seemed grown from the forest and had taken shape of a stag. I know not how to explain it. Around its horns grew moss flowers and its hide was rich green grass of the forest floor. The sight struck me so I could not move, I couldn't breathe. Until the creature seemed to spot me, then leapt away and vanished into undergrowth. Now every silhouette in the forest stands out starkly to me. The animals of the Iowa are not governed by the seasons, but shaped from them. The earth, the vegetation, even the snow and ice. Wow, that's crazy. What's this? Letter of greeting. Eight of nine. Mesdames, mesures, welcome. Though absent, I am your host. Keep yourself to the garden and any of the livestock. Just kill them swiftly so they don't remember in the morning. If you have chanced upon a rare creature, I'd ask you to add a note in the log, for I have much curiosity regarding the creatures of Eternum. Also, as a courtesy to your hostess, please, you leave the trophies I have gathered here out of respect, for I want considerable effort for each, and each bears a tail. Sure, we can do that for you. We got nine and nine in here. He didn't say we couldn't take the supply crate. No, no nine of nine. I don't know what he means by trophies. I don't see any trophies. I see nothing in here. Okay, so there's like one missing somewhere. Maybe we'll find it somewhere, like, on the mission or something. Maybe that's, like, the goal, is to find it while we're out in the world. Maybe he left it in the toilet. He was writing it. All right. Uh, so we got to search for clues for the missing tribute. Yeah, let's, let's get back on that. Going this way. This guy's coming. Oh, we gotta upgrade our sword and board too. Let's do that really quick. Oh, we got some points to use too. Okay, so we did that. 
So now we want recorders unlocked in previous row of this tree. We did that. What are we missing? Oh, we gotta take something else up here. That makes sense. Um, precision. All right, we're off. So you got this dude's up here and now he's going to make us go do something. Yep. Talk to this guy. Don't know, but at least we found the Iron Rose guy. So like the beetles turn him into the vampire type thingies. Is that better than what I got? I'll be sad. So wait a minute, he like rezzed? Yeah, they got beat up by bugs. La cucarachas. Hey, what is what's up with that attitude? Sometimes you gotta do what you don't want to do because it's the right thing to do. Man up. Oh, a campsite? Camping. I love camping. Oh, we get some Azoth currency. Travel to the campsite near the garrison. Gotta go that way. Alright, let's do it. I had this person's chilling over here too. We gotta see what that's all about. Yo! Commander Meryl dies under the network blade, dodges left, moves right, and plunges his sword into the heart of the beast. Oh! Sorry. It was training. I was training. Good job. To join the Iron Rose Company. Star Wars Bastards of Valor they are. I don't have a copy of the play. You look like a hardy adventurer. Mm, I am a hardy adventurer. How did you know? Thank you. I see oh, we get a necklace. An uh, amulet, sorry. Amulet. These Iron Rose peoples are pretty rich. She's going to give us 50 coins. Alright, we got to like... Which way do we gotta go now? Travel to the campsite, number one. There's numero uno. Here we go, campsite found. Well, that's a big wolf. Ha <laughs> ha, ding. Oh, we didn't even use these last time. Okay, weapon mastery, great sword. Let's see, what do we want here? Base damage by 15%. Oh, that's like a leech. Nice. We'll take that. 
All right, so let's back over here. What do we got to do? Set camp recall point. All right. Oh, we can craft here too. Nice. Um. Um. Okay. We did that already. Well, I guess we'll do it again. Near the Iron Rose Garrison. Uh, default Y. I have to like push Y twice. Oh, we gotta put an actual campy thing down. There's like tons of camps here. There we go. Now we gotta build it. Yo, we got a campsite. Okay, so now we're supposed to go that way. There's like stuff this way too. Let's look at the map for a second and see what we all got here. All right, so we gotta go down that way, and then, whoa, whoa, there's actually quite a holy. That's a big world. All right, so that says way up there, so we ain't gotta worry about that. That's like one to twenty-five. We got those to worry about later. So yeah, we just gotta go down this way. Ooh, this guy too. What are you doing hiding here? Oh, that's that person. All right, rescue any survivors. Let's see what we got. Ooh, these guys got some meaty uh, armor on them. Supply cache. That's a survivor, technically, isn't it? Oh, look at this guy's hiding up here. Hey, that was very nice. We're talking to this gentleman. I'm gonna tell him to get out of here. Learn the fate of Sergeant Cawthorn. All right, let's check it out. What fate? Doesn't sound like we're gonna be bringing them back though. Turkey! Stop fighting me, Beatles. Making turkey bacon now. We got some poultry. What's that? Ill fated abomination. Whoa, what was that? It's flinging the stuffs at me. Getting closer. Oh, we got a letter. Ella's song, verse three. Plenty fools have felt her sting of her fallen angel's wing. Pure misfortune, she shall bring mercy, darling. E la. One out of three. All right, let's see what we got around this way. I have a feeling we're gonna have to kill the commander. What do you guys think? Or the sergeant, rather. Oh, that's a huge pike.
Oh, so close. Missed with that big swing. All right, it's time. Recover the armband. Oh, maybe we don't have to fight her. It's upstairs. We are going to... Oh, we're going to loot the stockpile. What do we get? Some boots. Alright. What's this? The Iron Creed. A warrior's honor is worth more than the coin in his purse. He holds grace with his weapon, subordinate to grace with those in his charge. His tongue is as true as his blade, and his valor burns as a beacon for those in his shadow. We are not self-swords or mercenaries. We serve no purse or purser. We are bringers of order and keepers of peace. We wield the might of our weapons in defense of the meek and the helpless and uphold the justice of our forefathers in this life and all our lives thereafter. Fancy. Right, but that's still not what we're looking for. We're supposed to be finding an armband. Um, let's go this way a little bit, I guess. Patrick, you are a good citizen. Oh, it's Iron Rose Squire. Got him. Oh, maybe we do gotta kill him. We gotta wait for her to respawn. 10 meters. Three, two, one. Oh, it's gotta be here. What are we waiting for? Oh, what's this? It's Iron Rose Square there. Okay, that's not it. I'm guessing we gotta wait for a respawn. Oh, look at these guys coming in here. That's what you get. Is any of this upgrades? Oh, that's an upgrade. 226 and 230. Let's go. Oh, what was this? Squire. So what's everyone's plans for this weekend? Anyone got anything exciting planned? Hey, there she is. We got her. She didn't make it. I guess he was wrong. We got the armband, okay. We to jump off this way. We got a lot of like green arrows up. I don't even know which one we gotta get. I'm guessing this one here. This one's the closest one. 276, 364. We got two turn-ins that are probably the close. Let's go. The wolf didn't eat the turkey. What do we got to turn in? Watch, now we're going to get a fiber because we don't need it anymore. No, oh, pedal cap, whatever that is.
What's this? Oh, fast travel. That's important. We gotta get those. Those travel points. You're back. I had thought that many of them became lost. I was worried about you. Thank you so much. Give her the crate. Nine dexterity pendant. Yes, you will. Oh, we got we got standing increased. Where does it live by? Wait a minute, is she trying to jump the line by looting off of a dead Iron Rose person? I suppose for that great axe it's probably worth it. Ooh, fortifying whirlwind. Alright, I guess we're we're helping her out again. So we could get this amulet on though. Unless someone we can salvage. Um are these BO oh those are BOE. We'll try to sell those. We'll salvage that. Okay. Well, we're gonna get a better great axe, so let's oh that's BOE. We gotta sell those. I wanna sell those things. Um, we can salvage that though, and we can salvage this one. Uh, this one's actually better than the one we got on, so let's flip those around and we'll salvage this one. Bind and equip, bind and equip, bind and equip. Okay, we're good. Back underneath halfway. Um, Oh yeah, we gotta go back this way now to get the... Quest over here. Plus 100 weight. That's sick. Look at that. Yeah, unfortunately you were wrong about your sergeant, buddy. It didn't work that way. We received a missive informing us that guard captain DuPont had already taken Oh, we dinged. What if Medea didn't get it? We should investigate. Because we're going to get that nice chess piece. Of course we have to go alone. Why would we have to go with people? Why would why would he help us? He's not gonna help us. Alright, what did we get? We gotta equip that. There we got three hundred weight now, we're only a third of the way there. Sweet. Alright, so now we gotta look at the map. Uh that one's commander's correspondence. We gotta go that away. Where did she, where did those other ones want us to go? They want us to go like Garden of Iron. Well, let's go get the sword first. Let's go get that girl her sword, so she can become a stalwart warrior like us. Mm -hmm. 
We just have to go back in this area, I guess. What's that huge thing? Oh, it's a camp. Why does it show that we gotta go back this way? I don't get it. Oh, that's where she is. But we need to go to the keep right here. Aaron Rose Garrison. Take that. Oh, he didn't have one. There's a supply cache, though. What'd be funny is that the pikeman had the sword. Nope. Cleave damage, cleave damage. This guy's got a sword. Cough it up, buddy. Hmm. No sword. Oh, two. Where's two? Where's two? got a territory reward more XP well, let's do more storage uh, character what do we got under character oh we got ding um let's do straight two in strength we got a bit of constitution going on two I see the two oh they're all in the same spot did we just like come here for nothing? I'm pretty sure we did. All right, let's go. I still don't understand why we can't steal. I mean, logically it makes sense that we would be able to go in there and kill a guy with a sword and take his sword, right? <sighs> Sometimes it just doesn't work the way that you want to. All right, let's stop here for a second. I will be right back shortly. I'm gonna take a couple second intermission.
All right, we're back. Thank you, everybody. Sorry for the intermission. Just can't see myself wasting good coffee. And like the mug says, we got to respect the beard, respect the coffee. Now continue on this path. So we got to go down this way. What is, there's another marker up here too. Oh, that's the guy. Wait, oh no, that's the fast travel. Okay, we got that. It looks like we got to go that way. Okay, so we just follow the road. It's going to take us right there. Nice. Oh man, if I would have just read the quest, we would have not backtracked. It says travel to Iron Keep. <laughs> oh, we got this guy. What's this guy all about? Oh, that's the same guy. All right, let's go. We're going to take the keep by storm, by great sword storm and whirlwinding. 99 meters. We still haven't found fiber. What do we gotta do? Oh, we gotta kill this guy. Oh, he's hiding, he's hiding some epic chest loots. Out of my way. What do we got? Oh, what did he spray on me? What is that? Oh, shit. Retcher. Take that. We're getting that great sword mastery. Alright. Stockpile. Sounds promising. Oh, look at cloth bonnet of the priest. I don't think we need a priest bonnet. I don't think that'll help us. Um, we gotta go here to get a sword. Whoa, what? I see you. This is what you get. Hey, there you go. Take that. Great sword mastery. I guess the pike man's next. Oh, we got common health potion. I haven't actually needed a health potion or anything like that yet. Oh, where we got oak up here? We gotta go in here. Oh no, I'm not. You're dead. Besides, you guys aren't supposed to be talking. You're lost. You're like zombies. You're zombies. Oh, we got a knight. <laughs> oh, we staggered him. There we go. He lost his composure. I'm chopping his legs off. Hey, what's that? Oh, we got loots. Stockpile. Welcome to the folks that just joined. Welcome to the Growl community. Welcome to the channel. How are you doing today? I hope your day is going great. Sincerely. And if not, what can we do to change that? I don't see where, oh, we gotta go this way maybe? Oh, I see, I see, we gotta go this way. Oh, he blocked all that, all that juicy swinging for nothing. We got great sword mastery though. All right, what do we got in here? It looks like there's something that's supposed to be right here. Oh, it must be upstairs. Let's go look over here. Let's get this guy right away too. Why not? He's got a little rogue sword. Hey, that was pretty cool. Whatever that was. 
I mean, it wasn't cool that he was shanking me, but that move was pretty cool. Hey, we got something. Oh, we could... Commander Meryl. Is this guy gonna spawn, like, when we got a read? Whoa, what's that? He's going with the epic huge hammer. Oh, this is like a boss. Nope. Not today, sir. Not today. Oh, he got me with that one. I would just finish him off. He ain't gonna kill me. Got him. Alright, what is this? Notice a breach of contract. Hey, Queen Lou, how's it going? I do not need your excuses, Commander. The tribute for the season has not arrived on schedule. As well as you know, this is a breach of my contract with the Iron Road in the town of Corinth. I'm doing awesome. It's Friday. It's a nice day outside. We got some amazing adventures gameplay going on, and life is good. And and coffee too. Coffee. If this situation is not remedied quickly and to my satisfaction, further reparations will be expected. I will not hesitate to visit Windward myself and personally see that the cost is paid for these transgressions. Yours in candor and quickly decreasing patience, Medea. Oh, Medea is getting angry. I don't know if any of you have watched like the Medea movies, but like every time I say Medea and I see Medea in the chat, I'm not thinking of like some evil sorceress. I'm thinking of the Medea from the, the Medea from the movies. That's what I'm picturing right now. All right, let's get out of this building. And it looks like we got another. We got the sword yet. We gotta get that sword for that lady. She wants to become a warrior. So we're going to help her on that journey. All right. Moving on up. Oh, here we go. Oh, so we just had to loot the rack. Oh. I guess we have to get past this night first. What am I stuck in? Oh. Did he just like smash me into a wall or something? Not today, sir. Not today. Okay, we got out. Alright, now let's get the sword. Alright, we're looting and booting. Let's get out of here. Oh, we're not using wall we're not using the wall apparently. All right, so let's go this way. Travel to Corinth. We don't want to do that yet. We got to talk to that lady, give her her sword. That's where we want to go first. And then it sounds like we get to go back to town after a hard day's work inside of, inside of these keeps. Left burnt punisher. All right, let's get him. He's in front of some loot. We got some stuff we could put up on the trading post. Is it? It's trading post, right? Trading post. Yeah, I think so. Oh, we got a drum song. We got we got to take uh, Asari's advice and hold on to those things for now until we get there. Um, what do we want? We want the quest log. Where's quest log? Quest log objectives. So we want. Oh, we can fat. Can we fast travel? Oh no, only from a place. That's the one we want. So we're going back that way. I do gotta say though, I'm really like I'm I'm honestly really impressed with this game. I'm definitely gonna continue on this journey and playing this out.
it's just really relaxing and, and fun. I mean, that's all you can ask for in a game, really. Relaxing, fun. Sometimes a bit of challenge, some epic elements to it. What is this? Oh, it's a bison. Oh, they said something about the skins being worth money on these in one of those uh, messages. And apparently we're drowning while we're skinning the buffalo. All right, stop, stop, we're gonna die. Stop, cancel, cancel, retreat. Let's try to get him from here once, see if we... Okay, we're good here, we're safe. <laughs> that was almost really bad. All right, we got, oh, 30 raw hide. I didn't get any, we didn't get any like special like buffalo hide stuff, we just got raw hide, but I mean, 30, that's good. All right, Roya. Here's your sword. Thank you, thank you. You truly are a friend. I'll be able to practice properly. Trees, beware. All right, trees, beware. Look at that big axe. And level 13. So we get to level up. So let's do double strength this time. And we get a house and a consumable slot and camping upgrades at 15. All right, what else do we got? Um, oh yeah, we want a tab. We want to try that ax out. Let's put it in the great sword slot for now. All right, so now it says 35. We gotta go this way to fast travel, it looks like, and then shoot back to the town. It sounds like we gotta go back to the settlement. Oh, we can recall to the end instead of spending coin I'm good with that we'll save the coin for important thingies That's pretty cool looking. I'm guessing those are the cockroaches we were killing earlier. Are they, or are they more like scarabs? Cause they like do like funky things to people when you use them. All right, we gotta talk to the Silvix guy. Let's go find him. Where is he hiding? In the building? Yo. Here he is, getting lit up. Oh boy. That's my boy. It's my good puppy. All right, we gotta complete the quest and we got new gear, Iron Rose Halberg. Think she did it. This is precisely why the king entrusted the Iron Rose with the responsibility for the tribute. The company has never failed to honor a contract. And now the damned speaker has tarnished our reputation. Oh, the rep is gone. Now, the bastard wouldn't see me, of course. But now, I will bash his face. Such violence. Why must we always choose violence? You should confront him. He can deny it. <laughs> All right, so we gotta go talk to that guy. We have to 
What's this? Oh, uh, we already did this one, didn't we? No, we didn't. The Dancing Plague. I am not adventurous. Dusty tones might draw the likes of Grenville, but not I. My scholastic investigations occur through books and interviews. A desire to piece together the folk tales and culture bubbling in the unique pot of this island. To that end, I have found a man with the oaken knuckles. His name is Zadok, and I plied him with libations and many games of droughts. Through his words slurred by the time he opened up to me, his pickled tongue hinted at intriguing tidbits indeed. He spoke of a dancing plague, a contagious compulsion to gyrate night and day. So he's got the zoomies, guys. He spoke of a spreading pandemic and people dancing until literal death. He fell asleep before divulging more. What a delightful, bizarre notion, a dancing plague. Hmm. Interesting indeed. Okay, where else we gotta go? Well, that's where we gotta go when we come back. What's this? A notice of concern to carters and porters. The animals revolt. After a recent spate of back injuries, the doctors of Eternum felt compelled to issue this warning to anyone who transports good between settlements. Please remember that there are no beasts of burden on Eternum. No horse or donkey will pull your cart, carry your pack, or tolerate a rider. All efforts to domesticate or redomesticate these animals have only led to have led only to injury and a lot of swearing. Hmm. It's understandable. Therefore, it's important to transport only as many goods as your own back can bear. Do not overburden your packs or carts. This is not the old world in Eternum. We must all pull our own weight. So does that mean like you, get, you don't get mounts? We gotta go this way. What's this way? Do, 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 do. Oh, I see where it is. It's down this way. Talessa Serrano. Hey, we got timber, leather, and stone. We got all those things. Hmm. A kick in the nethers. How many of you have been kicked in the nethers today? I have not. Uh, what do you need the most? They need homes. Just imagine a life where you actually had to like go out like real life go gather those things like you can just go to like Macy's and buy some clothes or or go to the local grocer and pick up all of your meats and stuff you actually had to do all that stuff yourself every day all right we gotta go where's I want this talk to Dina Ruby out of my log where do we gotta go how far is she Oh, there's one up there. I guess we gotta go that way first. We gotta go talk to the speaker, then we can go handle this other business. Supply run. Supply run. I still don't see where Dina Ruby is, though. Oh, way up there. Yeah, we're not gonna get there for a while. We'll just... We'll worry about that later. Alright, so we're following number one first. And then two. Makes sense, makes sense. We gotta try out this new axe that we got too. Hey dude, it's raining. Alright, here we go. Oh, we gotta go talk to the speaker.
Oh, it's the guy with the lamb chops. He's angry. So now we got to go get the tribute because So now we gotta go back and talk to the dude about the tribute so we can go get the tribute. Oh, I wanna find that outfitter post thingy. Cause we gotta use those recipes. I wanna use those recipes. Recipes. What is this? Forge? No. Stone cutting? No. Wood shop, no. Loom, no. Kitchen, we can cook here. Do we got anything we gotta cook? Oh, look at we got travel rations. And create one of those. Some energizing travel rations, energizing light rations. Oh, we could craft more of those and craft four of them. Now we craft one more of these. Oh, we can craft seven of these. What else? What else can we make? Travel rations? No. Oh, we can make two more of these. Two more of these. Six more of these. How we ended up making more? After making some. So we do five of these. Oh, because different, so it'll use certain ingredients, and then you have other ingredients that can take the place of it. So we have 18 milks here. We can use that. We can use two blueberries in this recipe. That's kind of cool. Like, you can. Whoa, look at that pastry crust. We can make pastry crust. And seasoning blend. We can make a seasoning blend. Anything else? Oh, alright. Oh, wait. Travel ration. Now we could do two travel rations here. Interesting. Ah, level 10 cooking. Oh, we already got that one. Um, workshop. Tannery. Needs more outfitter. Arcane repository. Buy a house. Fancier house. Even fancier house. Let's find the post. Let's find the trading post. We'll put all this stuff up on the auction house that we won. I imagine it's probably where a lot of people are hanging out. Is this it? Hey, there we go. 
Let's sell some stuff. Sell the blunderbuss. I don't get what like the, the listing fee is. Does that mean like they're gonna take four? Or does like the other people have to pay that? Oh, see, now this one is good. Let's do that. Sell that one. The sheet music. That one doesn't sell for very much, so we'll use that. Void gauntlet. Oh, that's that's some good. Oh, no, get back, get back there. We're selling that. Sell it. All right, what about this great axe? No. Iron battle metal, uh, iron guardsman's insignia. We gotta keep that for now. Spear. Nope. Tough and leather boots. Nope. Wire weave. Yeah, most of that stuff doesn't sell for very good. Alright. So now. We're keeping that. Get rid of all these other things. That's an upgrade. So we'll get rid of that one. About these boots. Not an upgrade. Hey, queued up. How are you doing? How's it going today? Those are mission items. We still haven't found the outfitters thingy where it can use the recipes. Oh wait, we got stuff we gotta use here. We gotta open up the potion pouch. Oh, we got a music reward too. We gotta check that out. Uh, the drums we said we can learn. Cause it doesn't sell for much. Doing good. Relaxing. We've been playing this game all morning, trying it out, and actually, it's really fun. It's like really adventurey, and like it was. I, I remember like when I first bought it, when it first came out, and playing it. I remember it being. I remember it having that feel. Um, so it's been it's been really fun. It's been a fun morning. A little bit later, me and the puppies are going to take all of the grass clippings from the yard to compost, and then. We have to go get our state parking pass for the year. So they'll they'll be happy. They love a good ride. And I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah, it, it's definitely, I would say it's definitely worth it. I think it's on sale right now in the Steam sale um, too. So like if you were on the fence about it, now is like a perfect time to try it out if, if you wanted to. Um, I like these games because you can play with people too like you can get a group of people and go run around and have fun and It's good stuff. It's good entertainment Okay, so we did that part now I think of the next step in this whole thing is Marshall DuPont how is Farlight? I was I was I was thinking about that game today actually. I mean, like anyone that watched me in Valorant yesterday can tell that I'm not a first-person shooter player, but that looks kind of interesting.
Yeah, those those games have a way of like easily becoming like really stressful. I think that's probably why I never end up playing them for very long is because I just like eventually I get to the point where I start getting tilted. And that's like, am I even playing the game to enjoy it, to enjoy it anymore, or am I just trying to make myself mad? Like, I, there's a whole lot of, of more uh, productive ways that I can make myself mad if I really wanted to do that. You know, if that was my goal. Well, we gotta hit the boulder. Yeah, it's for me. It's not like the competitive bit about it. It's hey, Millie, how are you doing today? The, it's not the competitive part for me. It's like when you're like sitting there and you feel like you feel like you did good. It, like you feel like you made the shot, and then all of a sudden it's not there, and you're like, Ugh! I mean, that's like where where it comes. Like I can handle losing in a video game. It's just like when you feel like you're just like not getting shots off that you should be getting. It's just frustrating. I'm doing fantastic today. Today has been a really good day. This playing this game has been really fun. I'm definitely glad that I, I can't remember who it was, but it was someone told me that they did a lot to the game since it first came out and that I should give it a shake another fair shake. It's, it's, a lot of these MMOs are like that where like you just they don't really like they come out so fast and then some t they hype up for like a couple weeks and then a lot of them just die out they fizzle out because you know they have there's like the big the bigger MMO games that everyone jumps into like World of Warcraft and Final Fantasy 14 um, people just kind of flock to those games and then games like this kind of get left behind but I don't know from like an adventure standpoint this is like the adventure aspect of it, the aesthetics and like the immerse the the ugh, the immersiveness of the of the world, is actually really good. I just like I can't I can't find any fault in it to be honest. The combat's a little bit weird. It's not like the it's more of an active combat where you're like swinging, and blocking. But and the the crafting the crafting is actually crazy. There's like a billion different crafts you can get into. Let me switch over to it once. There's all these different kinds of craftings and refinings. You got smelting, weaving, stone cutting, woodworking, leatherworking. So they, they like yeah, it 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 does. It has that really immersive crafting to it. Oh, my puppy. He was actually on stream earlier. He's getting a little restless because they want to go for a ride today. And they know, like, they know that we're going for one today. So they're just kind of like, hey, what's going on, pops? It's time. He'll come in every little bit to check and see if it's time to go. Oh, you want to see Floof on stream? Koopy, come. Come on, boy. Let me grab them. I'll be right back.
All right, we have to bribe them. Here we go. Cooper, up. Come on, up. No. Ah, ah, ah. Up. Say hello to the stream, Koopy. Say hi. Say hi, Koopy. Here, go. All right, down. Yes, I know. Your turn. It's your turn. All right, Cooper, down. Down. Miss Daisy May. Miss Daisy May. Up. Daisy up. Cooper, no. Daisy up. Daisy, come. Get up there. Cooper, no. You're not getting a second treat. Down now. Get no down. You don't get two treats. No. Daisy. Cooper, no. Daisy. Come. Daisy. Daisy up. Daisy up. Daisy. Come on. Get up. No. Get up there. Come on. Up. Sit. Sit down. All right. Here we go. Here's Miss Daisy May. Yeah. You guys got your lunch treats now. Yeah, how's that? Yeah, that's good. You love that? That's good. Yeah, that's good when you love that. Yeah. That makes your breath smell nice and fresh. Yeah. Fresh and minty. Yes, daddy's got always there. He got tattooed yesterday. It'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Thank you. All right, there they are. That's both of them. That's Copernicus, Ricky, Nacho Libre, and Daisy May, two puppies. Daisy is my wife's dog, and Cooper's mine. Right. Your mama's puppy? Yeah. Your mama's puppy? Or your mama's puppy? Yeah, you are. Oh. Yeah, Daisy and Cooper. I gave you a treat. I gave you your lunch treat. I already gave you treats. I already gave you treaties. Yeah, I gave you treaties. You gonna play this game now? <laughs> yeah, I get the side eye from her all the time. She's like, she's got like the expert puppy face thing down. Now they're gonna hang out for a little bit. Oh, we gotta go this way now. Did the song go out? Let me double check. Um, no, it, it looks like we still got sound. We don't have desktop sound though. There, now we got desktop sound. I don't know why that went out. Either that or I forgot to turn it back on earlier today. Oh, okay. All right, so we got to go here now, the tannery. And we got to make coarse leather, it looks like. I like how it just does them all at once. You can just like pull the wheel and it'll craft them all and you don't have to like sit there a while. It goes through like a hundred or two hundred of them. In Warcraft sometimes you like craft the iron or you craft like the ore into bars and you gotta like take a 15 minute break and then come back and hope that you didn't get logged out. Oh congratulations on leveling up Millie. We gotta go now to the other spot. Timber at the wood shop and stone block at the cutting. All right, so I see a two over this away. Uh, my wife and I started dating 16 years ago and this year in August we'll be married for five years. Oh, I, I love showing the puppies and they like coming they like coming on stream and just sitting and chilling and relaxing Whoa, where are you going? Where are you going little girl? Here you want to come closer? I'll let you come closer as long as you promise to not be hoofing me. How's that sound? Is that a fair deal? Hmm? Yeah, I know you guys want to go for a ride today. Yeah, we will We will in a little while. We're gonna go to Point Beach. We'll let you run in the woods. Hmm? Want to run in the woods today? Oh, 
That sounds like a treat. Uh, no. Hey, you're not playing the game. I am. Thank you. The secret to it is really you just have to choose each other each day and you have to be each other's best friends and you got to be, uh, you guys got to keep it interesting with each other. Like she and I, we torment ourselves. Like on stream, you'll notice like I may be tormenting her or something in the evenings when we're playing games together. But like there isn't anything like negative about it. It's just like, it's just how we like, I don't know. It's like every day we we do things like that. We just try to keep each other on our toes. It's keeps it keeps it real. Like it keeps everything fun. You know, I pro you promised that you weren't gonna be pawing me. Yeah, you did. You did. You did. You promised. Yeah, that's, so, I mean, a lot of people, a lot of people end up, like, in relationships that end up in, oh, this one's Daisy May, she always wants attention, she's like, she's gotta have it, like, Cooper, he's gotta have it, like, periodically throughout the day, and then the rest of the time, the rest of the time, he's, he's just like, he's fine, he, he'll go take care of himself, but her, no, she's, like, when I, when I called her over, I knew this was gonna be, like, a little, little endeavor here. Hey, stop. No, I get... No, no worries, no worries. Say, it was time for my attention anyways. I needed it. Yeah, I needed the attention. There you go. We'll give you that attention. We'll give you some of that attention. There. I don't think you know how to use a Corsair mouse. <laughs> All right, now we gotta head up this way. We gotta talk to the guy. <laughs> See me, I just, I, I, I just like relax and like it, it wouldn't bother me one bit if if I was a if I was a doggo and my master just like fed me and like put me to bed at night I'd be good with that. All right, now we gotta find some guy. Yeah, um, I got so there's a, a Labrador Retriever breeder in, in the town we lived in at the time. Um, they're both five years old now, so. And we moved in December to the house that we bought. Um, but yeah, the they were, um, they're the ones, like they're the misfit puppies, I guess you call them. They're the ones that no one wanted. Typically you get them at like, I think it was, they said like six weeks and Cooper was 12 weeks old when I got him and Daisy was 14 weeks old when I got him. Um, when I got her, um, my wife wanted her. We had, um, we got Cooper, and then, like, when I went to go get him, um, he was, like, there was two of them left. He was, like, tugging on my pants leg and just, like, peeing, you know. He was, like, hey, notice me, he noticed me, he noticed me. The other puppy didn't really do much of anything, so I was, like, you know, we got we got to take this good boy home. So we did, and then a little while later, um, they also have, they're called Y Mariners. Um, they had a, a female mare, uh, white mariner that was a couple of years old and she wouldn't, she wouldn't breed. So they, if the dogs are older and they're not breeding anymore, then they, um, rehome them. So we brought the white mariner home, but her and Coop, she like, she, she didn't click with Cooper at all. So we had to rehome her and then we, my wife was really upset about it. So then we went back and then Daisy was left. She was, I think, six, 14 or 16 weeks old at the time. I can't remember exactly, but um, we ended up bringing her home, and those two have been inseparable. Yeah, doggos are great. You got to have doggos. All 
Alright, so now we have to go to that place. So wait a minute, they like the the tribute never actually left town. They were supposed to deliver and it hasn't even left town yet. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Doggos are really important. Uh oh. Thought New World was gonna kick us out for a second. We overstayed our welcome in the game or something. Or maybe it's because I told them they need the bigger beard in the customization. Cause it's kind of, I feel like that's kind of lacking. It doesn't really represent me very accurately. Mm -hmm. Oh, one man's treasure, a new, bo a new book to read. Trade and treasure, one man's treasure. Shamgar, you bilge rat. How's the survey going? Still trying to plot a course through the storms around the island? I've told you for years you need to settle down and start a family. Then again, if you did that, you wouldn't keep finding salvage from shipwrecks and I couldn't keep winning it from you. So maybe you stay on that boat a while longer, eh? Not sure where you are right now, but I'll be sending this up with one of my traders to rest ashore. You always did like the currents up there better than down here. Keep a weather eye open and we'll meet up soon enough. Hmm. Now we gotta talk to this guy here. Oh, it got stolen by pirates. I did for a little bit when it first came out, but I didn't play it for very long. I think maybe like one or two times. I, I think it is, actually. I don't remember. But yeah, I played it for a little bit, and then I stopped, and then... I think that was was I think that was the one that got infested by bots, and then like a lot of people stopped playing it. Oh, we got a ding. All right, so we gotta go get the tribute. Yeah, there was like a huge spike in the population of it for a bit of time and it ended up being a bunch of bots. I don't remember what they were botting though. I, I just, it's not really like, it's really vague in my mind right now. But yeah, that's what my understanding was is that there were a lot of bots and then it ruined it for a lot of people and a lot of people stopped playing. Oh, we got three points this time. Um, Let's boost the dex two points and then the strength one point. And then it looks like we got weapon mastery. No. Oh, territory mastery. Um, territory gain, definitely. So now we got to go that way. All right, thanks, queued up. Enjoy your lunch. Actually, um, I think we're gonna turn this quest in, and then we're gonna find someone to surprise them with the 14 members of the Growl community and make their day. So hold on one second while we look for someone. Who are we gonna get? Who are we get? Oh, let's let's go here. Let's go here. All right, so we're gonna go hit up Miku CS. It looks like they're playing uh, Rainbow Six Siege. I want to thank everyone for hanging out with me again today, playing this game. I had an amazing time. We're definitely gonna do this again, maybe another weekend long uh, long weekend stream. So let's go raid Miku, and you all have a great day and a great weekend.
this year's break now. And for every viewer, we'll be hoping to see you again soon.